Hey everybody, it's Scribs. I'm so sorry I didn't make a video last week. I was really overwhelmed with a lot of things and I ended up having to pass it up. And this was the intended video for last week. So next week I will be doing the product review of the Ardex SimTap markers. I just want to update you on that and let you guys also know I have a shop and I hope you guys like today's video even though it's so much shorter. And um, I was really nervous about redoing this piece due to the fact that I was going to be recreating an oil painting digitally, but I actually think it turned out pretty great. My family seems to love this original piece, though I'm not as much of a big fan as of it. I did it a really a long, long time ago when I thought I wanted to paint in, you know, more of a painterly style rather than cartoonish, but I've gotten more into the cartoonish alley. So I just wanted to check my skills and challenge myself today. Because I'm doing Huvember, this color palette was something that I just chose on a whim, not really thinking about anything. And now that I'm trying to improve my colors, I decided to change up the color palette using Color Picker and then using like the Harmony tool in Procreate so I could use um, colors that were more complementary to each other. So this is the after one. It's a close bet. I think that the green, I think that the blue is more green. The green is more saturated, the pink is saturated and deeper in hue, and the skin color is kind of sort of the same, but after painting the piece I realized that it's not, it's a little bit lighter. So let's get into the speed paint. Um, I just really struggled using the oil brush at first, so then I switched to a brush called Turpentine, I think. I sketched out the piece or turpentine, I sketched out the piece, mapped out the facial features, and then I went from there, making sure to make my drawings more atom atomically correct, or just more anatomically correct, or just more what I would draw like now. And then I just kept drawing, and it was pretty fun. It was challenging, but I used tutorials on Pinterest, and I just tried to make sure that everything was opaque at the very least. That was the main struggle that I was having. And yeah, I don't think I did too bad. You guys can let me know if you like the piece. And I don't want to talk anymore right now. I'm still pretty tired, but I just wanted to get this video out to y'all. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with others who will like it. We're on the road to 500 subscribers and we're almost there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.